Thanks so much for staying with us, taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Skycam, part of the Storm Team Skycam Network. Lots of sunshine, just a few scattered, very small clouds out there. Otherwise, we're going to continue to see mostly sunny skies as we head through this evening. It's been a warm one today, 85 degrees our current temperature. Winds out of the east and southeast at 10 miles per hour. We'll see temperatures slowly slide off into the upper 70s by the 9 or 10 o'clock hour. Temperatures elsewhere, 85 in Grand Forks, 86 Gwitter and Sisseton, 82 in Valley City, also 82 in the Wapathan, Breckenridge area, and some upper 70s for Detroit Lakes, Bemidji, and down in the Wadena area. Winds on the breezy side in a few locations, and they'll stay kind of breezy through the evening hours, but then subside overnight tonight, becoming rather light. Tomorrow they pick up again out of the southeast around 10 to 20 miles per hour with some stronger gusts, so southeasterly winds ahead of a cool front that will move through later on and give us a chance for some showers and thunderstorms. And late tomorrow, those winds shift around to the west and northwest behind that front. Hardly a cloud in the sky out there. And with hardly a cloud in the sky, well, no precipitation to worry about. But off towards the west, that cool front is sparking off some showers and some thunderstorms in the western Dakotas. And they'll continue to march off towards the east over the next couple of hours and fall apart just about the time they get to the Minot Bismarck area. Then they'll redevelop later on tomorrow afternoon. We'll show that to you in the hour by hour forecast. We are seeing some severe weather over parts of the country, including southwestern South Dakota, a brand new warning in northwestern South Dakota, a couple more in Wyoming and western Nebraska. And zooming on out to the national map, more severe weather in parts of New Mexico and in the southeastern U.S. Lots of shower and thunderstorm activity that will dissipate. Much of it will once the sun sets later this evening. For us, we're going to continue to see temperatures on the warm side even after the sun sets. We'll see temperatures in the 70s later on this evening, cooling into the 60s, and eventually some 40s, 50s, and 60s for overnight lows. Tomorrow morning, we'll start out with quiet conditions with partly to mostly sunny skies, and then we'll start to see more clouds develop as we head through the afternoon and evening hours. And along that cool front that's sparking off those showers and storms in western North Dakota today, tomorrow, It'll be eastern North Dakota, and those will continue to slide off towards the east. Not anticipating any severe weather, but one or two of those storms could be on the strong side. And we'll update you if that indeed does happen. Here in Fargo, we start off the day in the upper 50s by lunchtime into the upper 70s with more clouds building. And later on in the day, a warm one getting into the upper 80s with that chance for storms developing as we head through tomorrow evening. Picture of the day, a beautiful barn day in Comstock, Minnesota. Thanks to Tiffany for sending that picture in. We're going to use that as the background to our seven-day forecast. Chance for late-day storms Tuesday. Some of those may linger into our early morning hours on Wednesday, especially in our eastern counties. A touch cooler on Wednesday, but then we warm it right back up into the mid-80s on Friday. Saturday and Sunday, a chance for some showers and some thunderstorms both days. And some of those storms could be strong and possibly severe. But that's a long way off. Mm -hmm. A lot of things can change, and we'll continue to monitor that as we head through the next few days. And this time of year, we have to expect it a little bit. Just it is that time it. of year. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Robert. You got it.